Hello everyone, I just wanted to check in and see how everyone was doing with this gratitude challenge. Well, I'll be honest with you, um, this challenge is challenging in the sense that there are topics and questions that may bring up, may bring some awareness to areas of your life that you may have been suppressing, you may have been putting and pushing away to the back burner, and sometimes the ego, in order to not feel that discomfort, may try to cover up, may try to push these things aside, may try to tell yourself that you're okay with the reality you're not feeling okay, and it's it's all right to acknowledge that. The reason why I had started this gratitude challenge was to share some of my knowledge of what I knew, right? People had asked me questions. How did you overcome some of your biggest challenges? How did you um, get to where, you know, how did you accomplish some of the specific goals that you had? And these prompts and exercises, I read this book when I was 16 years old that changed my life. And these were the questions and the prompts and even just the, these were the ways that I started changing my perceptions of the world and sometimes I agree it's it's challenging and even when you're saying these affirmations that are meant to shift your perceptions from fear to love it can feel like you're lying to yourself or you can feel that mental disconnect and I want to let you know that you're not alone and I have been there and I even experienced that to this day and something that I've learned in, in approaching this differently because the paradigm may have already those preconditioned set of beliefs and sometimes that's why you feel really disconnected when you are saying these affirmations because subconsciously your paradigm has has that in the back of your mind it has those preset beliefs and it takes time to break down those beliefs that that come from a place of fear for example um let's say you want to be a singer but you have a fear of, of stage fright right your paradigm may always shift to oh i'm not good enough i'm not a good enough singer to go ahead and sing but in reality, that's just the fear. That is a fear that's disconnecting you from what you love. Um, and whether that be singing and sharing that out to the world, sharing your gifts and talents to the world and your friends and family. Um, that is one example, right? And one way to bring that connection and prevent that disconnect is finding, acknowledging what you know is to be true, right? So let's say you want to be a good skateboarder, right? You may not feel that way. You may not have that in your mind that, oh, I'm a good skateboarder, right? But instead of saying, I am a great skateboarder, you can say, I am on the journey. I'm on the path towards becoming a great skateboarder. Because if you're putting in the work, even though you don't have that, you don't believe that you are great yet, you can at least acknowledge that you are on that path. And that is something that your brain can grasp that's more tangible, something that won't freak out your paradigm. Because sometimes that discomfort, when, when you start to feel that discomfort, the ego starts to judge, starts to attack as a way to protect itself, as a way to protect um, that fear that perhaps you may not be a great skateboarder. Not yet. Right? So, the reason, as I was mentioning previously, sharing what I knew, I, I wouldn't say I know everything. I am not perfect. I don't know everything. And I acknowledge that. I am on this journey along with everyone else. And what really inspired me to share what I knew was just hearing, hearing feedback from my classmates, my friends, and the people around me, my peers, in the areas that they were struggling in their lives. And I thought perhaps what I knew may actually help them out, may actually bring some form of inspiration. And that's always what I've wanted to do, is to use my voice for good and to use, to share my knowledge, especially as a first gen, I have the privilege to share what I know with the people that I love and care about. When I was younger, I had the privilege to work with life coaches and mentors and something that they had told me was that if you're not constantly learning or on, if you're not constantly putting in the work to learn and even just shift some of these areas of your lives, there will come a point where a big major life event um, may, may come in and almost force you, almost put you in a place where you have no other choice but to address um, this area of your life that perhaps you were not looking, you were overlooking, you were putting it to the side and yeah, when either through this way or through the way of you constantly, constantly um, putting in the work to learn um, and work and, and better that area of your life, you know, major breakthroughs may come through. And perhaps even with this gratitude challenge, perhaps there were some breakthroughs that you may have experienced. Some areas in which finally you had awareness. There were areas in your lives. Um, this could be with your health. This could be with your finances. This could be with your school. Um, and it just it applies to different areas of your lives. Um, you know, perhaps. You have been getting all these health symptoms and all of a sudden now you have this major breakthrough and you, you, you're sent to the hospital, right? A major life event. And perhaps this was needed just so that you would find out what 
medical condition you were struggling with this entire time. Or perhaps you've always been on the go and, and all of a sudden you, you get injured. But this injury, it just, it brings your awareness that perhaps maybe you need to slow down a little bit more. Or another example, um, you know, sometimes some people may have bad patterns and, and addictive behaviors in which, you know, there comes a point in the event that, that really brings it, brings it up to the surface. To the point where they can't deny that they don't have these bad habits, they don't have these bad tendencies, or these not necessarily bad, but negative tendencies that are not affecting that are affecting their lives in, in not very positive manner, right? And so, I'm with these with this gratitude challenge. These are just the baby steps. These are just they were only scratching the surface, right? We're bringing the awareness, and the rest of it, the will, the choice is yours. What are you gonna do when you are given that knowledge, that awareness, and even what are you gonna do when you're given some tools, right? some learning tools to apply and use in your life. Oftentimes, this exercise seems repetitive because we forget, we forget to go back to gratitude. We forget to change the narratives that we're telling ourselves, right? You, if you're constantly insulting yourself every day, you're going to pick up on that. You're gonna pick up on that. But if you at least encourage yourself, congratulate yourself, you know what, good job. Good job for getting out of bed this morning. Good job for um, you know doing your chores today. Good job for finishing all your homework. These are things that you have to acknowledge that it did take some form of like willpower to do and accomplish, and it's 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 a, it's a step. So if you've been following along with this kind of challenge, again, thank yourself. Thank yourself for putting in the work, for willing to see things from a new per perception, new perspective, and willing to bring that awareness to these areas of your lives. It's challenging, it's triggering, and you know it's it does take courage. To acknowledge and, and it does take courage to even be able to act to respond right um but as we're coming to a closure with this kind of challenge don't forget what you've learned right don't forget these tools don't forget to bring up these questions right so number one bring that awareness take you want to pause and reflect and bring that awareness to your body to your mind number two witness witness what do you see is there fear is there fear that you're, you're holding on to? Is there fear from childhood? Could it be scarcity? Could it be self-esteem? Right? Witness through a non-judgmental lens. No criticism. Once you have that opportunity to observe what is going on, you can then figure out where are you, where you're at. And when you see where you're at, you can, from there, ask yourself the question, where do you want to be? Where do you want to be? Here? What does that look like? Hold that vision in your mind. What does that look like? If you're here, but with where do you want to be, what does that look like? Use your five senses. What do you see? What do you hear? What do you smell? What do you taste? What do you feel? That's the biggest question. How do you feel? How does that version of you feel? Are they happy? Are they content? Are they joyful? After you visualize, Ask yourself, what are baby steps? Not big steps, not just regular steps. And the reason I say baby steps is because it helps calm down the nervous system, right? Because they're baby steps. It can even be just making your making your bed in the morning, right? You want a clean house? You want a stable home? Making your bed in the morning. Something simple. Or brushing your teeth, you know, getting out of the house, going on that walk, going to the gym. Baby step, I can brush my teeth. I can put on, you know, some sports gear, right? Sports wear, athletic wear, right? Put on my, my sneakers. Baby steps. Because then you're more likely to continue on that path. Because you're small, you're like, I can take another one. Well, okay, maybe another step isn't that bad. You take another step, another step. And once you've taken those steps, you have to acknowledge that, hey, you, you did that. Congratulate yourself. Thank yourself for taking those baby steps. Hey, I got myself out of the house today. I went on that walk today. And next, be consistent. The reason why I say baby steps is because when they're baby steps, it makes it easier to follow along and carry that through your life. It makes it easier to incorporate that in your daily lives without making it seem like a big sacrifice or like a big deal. So keep, stay consistent. But I hope this is helpful. And I hope that you guys take on this, especially because the gratitude challenge is about to finish. And thank you guys for the positive feedback that I received. And I hope that this has been helpful and prepares us for this new year and your new goals. I will see you guys soon.